And the breaking news tonight, a Cornell University junior arrested and accused of making online threats to Jewish students. CBS 2's Lisa Rosner reports he is now facing a federal charge. As state police stand guard outside the Cornell Center for Jewish Living, the U.S. Attorney for the Northern District of New York says University Junior, 21 year old Patrick Dye, has been arrested for posting anti Semitic threats online, including if you see a Jewish person on campus, follow them home and slit their throats. My family last night, we had a discussion whether it's safe for me to be on campus or whether I should come back home. The feds say Mr. Dye is from the Rochester area and faces charges of posting threats to kill or injure another using interstate communications. The complaint alleges he also posted he would shoot up 104 West, the university's kosher dining hall, among other violent messages. You may think that you can be anonymous and post what you want, but there will be consequences. The arrest comes a day after Governor Hochul increased state police presence at campuses statewide and met with Jewish students at Cornell. Just because it was one person doesn't mean that's the sole uh, reason to be afraid. It does not feel like we're living in 2023. It feels like we're living in Nazi Germany. How can you think about your classes uh, or anything? It seems so mundane when your life is literally being threatened. Earlier Tuesday, Governor Hochul announced measures to address rising anti Semitism and Islamophobia on college campuses, including increased monitoring of social media by state police and ordering a review of anti Semitism and anti discrimination policies on campuses. As for the Cornell student now in custody, he is expected to make a first court appearance in Syria. Accused Wednesday. If convicted, he faces up to five years in prison and up to a $25,000 fine. Lisa Rosner, CBS 2 News.